Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to show you how Falcon Host, the CrowdStrike next generation endpoint protection solution, protects you against ransomware. We are going to see how Falcon Host blocks known ransomware, unknown ransomware, and finally, ransomware that does not even make use of executable files but runs straight into memory. Let's start with a known ransomware sample. We can see that we are not able to execute it. And if we go to the Falcon Host console, we can see that the execution was blocked because we are dealing with known ransomware. It has been identified as known by several antivirus engines. Now to simulate the execution of zero-day ransomware, let's disable Falcon Host known malware protection. With that feature disabled, the ransomware will not be blocked by the known malware protection feature. Now let's execute another sample. You can see that it's run, but nothing happened. No file seems to have been encrypted. If we go back to the Falcon Host console, we can see that machine learning convicted and blocked the execution. That's one good thing, but what if the ransomware manages to get by machine learning? Well, that's always a possibility. That is why Falcon Host also uses indicators of attacks, or IOA for short, to detect and block ransomware. So let's try with another sample. You can see that nothing happens either. But if we go back to the Falcon Host console, this time we don't see the machine learning alert, but we do see an indicator of attack indicative of ransomware activity, in this case, an attempt to delete backups, and was detected and blocked. If Falcon Host did not have IOAs, chances are this sample would have managed to encrypt the files. But one question remains. What happens if there is no file to analyze? if the ransomware runs directly into memory. Let's explore this scenario by running the ransomware straight into memory. We're going to use PowerShell for that and execute the ransomware PowerShell script. But first, let's show you that this type of ransomware does work. So let's go to an unprotected system and run the script. And now you can see that the script is run and on the desktop, you can see the files being encrypted and then the originals being deleted. Now let's move on to a system protected by Falcon Host. Here, you can see that our script stops abruptly and that the files on the desktop have remained unencrypted. So if we go back to the Falcon Host console and see what happens, we see that we don't have a hash value here because there was no file involved, but we can see the PowerShell command that was run and we can see that the process tree and that the events matched another indicator of attack that is associated with ransomware. In this case, CryptoWall. We've seen how Falcon Host protects you against known, unknown ransomware, against ransomware that does not use files, and how Falcon Host uses multiple protection methods to make sure that you are covered. Thank you for watching.